It's 48 hours before Navy's game at East Carolina, but Greg Morgenthaler and the Navy equipment staff are busy at work. 118. 118. Organized chaos is the best way to describe what's going on. The team has the packing of this 18-wheeler down to a science. C.J. Jefferson is Navy's driver. The kids are great. I mean, they've they got the most respect, you know, and they really do have a brotherhood. And with me driving a truck, I'm part of that brotherhood. I guess that's why I've been doing this so long. Over the next month, he'll be making treks to North Carolina, Colorado, and Texas. The equipment truck is, is, is unique. Without the equipment, there ain't no game. After arriving around midnight, the staff was up and at them early Friday, setting up the video equipment, nutrition, and food at the team hotel. So far, so good. By 8.30, unloading, organizing, and getting this empty room into game day shape. The pregame locker room setup is more than putting pads and lockers and uniforms on hangers. It's setting up the coaching area, leaving Coach Niamatololo's favorite type of gum inside his locker, organizing all additional gear and making this once empty space into a one-stop shop for all things Navy football. It's 2 p.m. and the team is here. The locker is ready to go. Come an hour or two after the game ends tomorrow, everything will be back on the truck and driving back to Annapolis. The truck is back on the road Monday morning for Colorado Springs. All in a day's work for a college football equipment staff. For Navy Sports, I'm Phil Bergman.